This unmade bed is one of the most famous works of art from the last 50 years. And yet I still get a ton of questions about it. And I'm quite certain my uncle is about to have a heart attack when he hears me call this art. But this piece was shortlisted for the Turner Prize, and it comes from an artist who was part of a highly influential movement about 25 years ago. So what's all the fuss? Let's talk about it. Art lovers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher West, and this is the place where we talk about all things modern and contemporary art and design. And today we continue our quest to cover 30 works in 30 days, which is actually going to take a lot longer than 30 days because, well, life happens. But life will not stop me from talking about Tracy Emmons' iconic and infamous sculpture slash installation called My Bed. Emmon was part of a group of artists that began exhibiting together in and around London in the late 80s and early 90s. They would come to be known as the Young British Artists, or YBAs for short. And the thing that united them was not one particular style or medium, but an openness to different materials and processes. They also had this can-do attitude. Most commercial galleries weren't interested in their work, so they did everything themselves. They organized exhibitions in non-traditional art spaces and marketed these shows on their own. Much of the work the YBAs showed was considered then, and likely considered by many today, as shocking, and Emin was no exception. But Tracy wasn't shocking just for shocking's sake. Her work was autobiographical. This brings us to My Bed, created in 1998. Obviously, not your typical artwork, but it's a glimpse into Emin's personal life her struggles and emotions. The centerpiece of my bed is Tracy Emmons' actual unmade bed, surrounded by a chaotic array of personal items like discarded condoms, cigarette butts, and underwear. It's an intimate portrayal of her existence at that very moment. It was inspired by a sexual and depressive phase in the artist's life, one where she remained in bed for four days without eating or drinking anything but alcohol. She finally pulled herself together and looked at what had accumulated in her room, and she realized what she had created. Oh my God, what if I died and they found me here? She then wondered, what if here wasn't here? What if she took all of it, the bed, the stained sheets, the used condoms, the dirty underwear? What if she took it all and put it into a white cube? How would that transform its meaning? So she did. She took her bed, put it in an art gallery, and made it into an installation. And for many, it was quite shocking. But for Emin, she saw something different. She saw a damsel in distress, like a woman fainting or something, needing to be helped. She described it as a self-portrait, but not one that people would like to see. And what Emin did is change the way we think about art, love it or hate it. You may not want to install my bed in your living room, but Emin, alongside works by other young British artists like Damien Hirst and Sarah Lucas, challenge our traditional notions of art and asks us to reconsider our perceptions. And also, I just think it's fun to defend art that so many people find offensive. So let me know in the comments how offended you are. And hey, we don't just talk about wacky British artists here. If you like old time oil on canvas paintings, you might like this video on Ed Ruscha, and I'll put a link to it right up here. And please make sure you're subscribed to the channel so YouTube throws my videos into your future feeds. I always appreciate people who watch till the end, so thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Ciao.